Let me ask you about this uh, other. There's a there's a piece in the Jerusalem Post today. It's an op-ed that's written about what they perceive as the the president's the administration's interference in the Israeli election, and they believe that this group, one voice that has received over two hundred thousand dollars from the State Department, not for this purpose, but has received this grant from the State Department, is interfering in that election that they are funding. And it is true that one voice is funding this group that's working against Netanyahu. The complaint is that in essence, this is the U.S. government funding a group that's trying to bring down Netanyahu at the same time the president says we would never interfere in a foreign election. I know it's true that the State Department has given money to one voice, over 200,000, for a different purpose. But do you believe that now the State Department should go back to one voice under the principle that money is fungible and since they have become so politically active in this election and say we would like the taxpayers' money to be returned? Well, first, the grant that was given to One Voice ended at the end of November, which was before the Israeli elections were even called. Understood. We know what we know what that money was used for. There are so many requirements in law. It was about promoting the peace process, which the Israelis were closely engaged in. Understood. We have no involvement in the Israeli elections. We don't plan to have any involvement. But do you think? Because some have said, under the under the circumstances, given these representations as I've laid them out, states should go back to One Voice and say. We want the taxpayers' money back. You have become a political operative, and it's not appropriate for you to have $200,000 of the American people's money. We do not, and here's why. The role that they were playing and the money they were using this grant for, through which there are a range of restrictions, was on a bipartisan supported uh, effort in Israel to support a two-state solution. Uh, that is a grant that ended. The money was done at the end of November. It has you know nothing to do done? with the election. I mean, how do you know that they, they aren't still using the money that you gave them for this new effort? Because you have to account for, otherwise there will be investigations, as we've all seen, for exactly the money and how it's spent. And there's reporting that is required to be done about every dollar and cent of money that's spent of U.S. taxpayer dollars. All right. Jen Psaki, it's always great talking to you. Thank you for being Thanks, here. Thanks, Megan.